Okay, welcome back to my channel. I am going to try to do the infusible inks on a dark color today. It says to buy glare vinyl and then do the double layering. So we're going to try that. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I got the infusible inks laid out on there. To load it. I don't know if I forgot about my stand, y'all. I'm so used to doing it with my hand. I forgot I had bought a stand. I do it right. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to weed the, the glitter vinyl out right now. While that's cutting, I had already cut the glitter. And what it is, is a little logo my little girl came up with, which is the name of the channel. So, this is what she like to go by. It's really her channel. I just kind of got on here, so I took over her. Huh? Okay. And I don't like throwing these away either because sometimes, you know, you can mess up something. You might need just a little strip. You can sit there and iron it on. So, yeah, I got a scrap box size of a house, it seems like. But I always end up buying more when I can just use that. But I don't know why I don't. I always use it for, like, that little stuff that I was just describing. Even if it's not been cut yet or nothing, I got to stop doing that and use what I got. I got to learn how to use what I got and stop buying So the infusible inks have stopped. Okay. So we got one. Let me put the heat press up. Okay. I'm going to cut what I did use. And I know I want to keep it. I 
didn't get as much as that red on there as I would like. There's no sticky on there. It is. Okay. Not enough. Not enough. Girl, I go through the mats. I, buy, I got a lot of mats. I buy mats like crazy. But I try to use them as much as possible. I clean them with done this detergent. I scrub them. Then I reheat them. Uh, put an adhesive spray on them. I'm learning to stop being so rough, y'all. I'm so rough. I like the fact that the paper is hard. Like, the paper. But if you rip it, it's a wrap. Okay. I think I'll save these scraps too just to try some other stuff. Just to see whether like transfer to it. That's like be like some practice scripts. So if you have any that you done weeded out and you know you didn't use, you can just use that. If you want to try something very small to practice on to see what it transfer. That'll be something instead of you wasting a whole sheet. And I know it does get cluttered sometimes, but, you know, sometimes I had to throw a lot of stuff away because I get um, a lot of scraps. But if I do, I don't throw it away really. I try to use it. If I get overwhelmed with a whole bunch of crafts and a whole bunch of scraps that I have left, scraps I mean, you just go ahead and come up with something to do with them. Don't just throw them away. Cause you can do something with them. I was trying to surprise my little girl with a jacket made before she got home from school. She'll be here after a while. I'm trying to get it done before she comes. And then I'm gonna put it on her bed. Okay, so I got that craft out. Now, as you can see, this one and then this is gonna go on top and I'm gonna have to make sure I line it up just right if I don't then that's gonna be a problem but if I get it lined up just right on top of the shirt you know I gotta get the transfer inks lined up just right on the vinyl in order for it to transfer so stay tuned for that I'm gonna get that done now so I'm gonna go get the shirt and then I'm gonna do it over there As y'all can see, I got this from Walmart. It's a hoodie. I paid like $9.98. I don't even want to say $10. And it's a hoodie at the man section. So, and then she got to have school colors because she wear uniforms. So, hopefully they don't trip. And I'm going to put that on for her. I haven't figured out, should I put it on the front or the back? Let's see. I think I'm going to put it on the front because she got this little, little image that she like. So, I think I'm going to put that on the front, too. I think I'm going to go ahead and be cutting it. Like, let's see what it would look like if I did put it on the front. So, if I put it on the front, let's see. The best journey. That might be too big. I have an image. Might be too big. We shall see. I think I'm still put it on the front though. So you're gonna cut the little unicorn thingy out. And then I, I wasn't able to clean it as good as I thought. 
with the Cricut because you know you had to go inside the lines and then by it being white when I tried to clean it it was like taking out the important parts so I'm gonna try to make them look as normal as possible without looking real crazy but I guess that's what she like about them because it's not a perfect unicorn she says it's pretty so of course you know kids don't think they perfect but they perfect to the parents hope they don't trip because like I said they wear uniforms so I don't know if the school gonna let her wear it or not and be like you know she can't wear that because it's got something on it because I understand they trying to stop gang violence and bullying and all that kind of stuff so that's why we wear uniforms here in Mississippi but um like this year they didn't stop a lot of stuff so they got to wear clear book bags all that kind of stuff because kids are so bad and bullying so okay that is her image that's what it looks like so we're gonna see what they look like on the shirt I hope they fit but just then it didn't look like it would and then the back do have more room and I could do it back there but I think it'll be so cute on the front I think it'd be cute on the front She really loved this image. That way I know they'll sit right there. I think she's gonna be freaking happy, y'all. Hardest part is because this is a sweatshirt, it's thicker. So I to turn it all slanted and stuff, trying to get it under there because the hoodie will make it hard for me to press down. I think I gotta wait till it get real, real hot too because it's only on three something. With the infusible inks, I hear that it has to be like 400 and some degrees. Just see. great. It's hard because I got it all twisted to the side. Pretty good with the eyeball. You should see. It's a little cricket, but hey, we can, we can find out. Mm. 
Another thing they said, you have to let the glitter cool before you put the ink on because if you don't let the, the, it cool first, let it spray. They said, if you don't let it cool first, that it will transfer the inks. So it's best to let this cool. Then when it's cool, we'll do head, go ahead and do the ink on it. So while this, I guess I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the picture, the picture thingy. And then I do the ink last that way. Everything cool together. So y'all can see my little nephew here. Please don't talk about it. I gotta do that. I'm sorry. I had a little wig on. I threw it on the floor as soon as I got in the Just like my mat, I lay stuff face down and pull it from the back for I won't mess my images up. She is gonna lose her mind when she see this. She's obsessed with this little unicorn thing. I don't know why. So I think she's gonna freak. See, I don't like dark colors for the dark transfer because the color comes through. So that's the second part that, like, when I press it again, you're going to be able to see her um, navy blue color coming through it. So that's going to be the second part. Try to cover it up, but it's still going to come through it, even if I put some down there for it. I think it looks cute so far. She is gonna lose it. She like loves, love, love, love this little uni thingy. And my damn head hurt. Another thing, that's something else you can tell if I if I have it uneven or anything, because the both of them cut the same inches and everything. So if I'm able to see that glitter, that means it's not lined up right. Period.
know it would be this hard just to press something. Just to make sure it's on there right. Should I do that, y'all? Should I like piece it at a time? Just to make sure it's cut like right and on there right. Now her unicorn gonna be jacked. I can just see that now because that blue was already coming through with that first press. So that's gonna be ugly. So guys, this is what it looked like. It looks amazing. She is gonna lose her mind. But did you, if you can see that, that is the fabrics coming through the white. So that's the only bad thing about doing um, on a thick cotton material. The image, if you, if it's cotton and then like half polyester and all that kind of stuff. It comes through. The, the fabric comes through if it's a dark color. That's the only bad part. Even though it's made for dark transfers. But the thicker the material is, it seems like it comes through or something. I don't know. And maybe it's what it's made. I think it's cotton and polyester in one. So, But yes, hunty. Ain't this beautiful? Leave me a thumbs up and let me know how y'all like it.